You're listening to the Magnetic Boss Podcast, a place for spiritual entrepreneurs and visionary women. I'm Calandra, intuitive brand designer and founder of the Magnetic Boss Studio, where we cultivate magnetic brands, websites, and a social media presence for our clients. On this podcast, you'll learn how to begin cultivating your magnetic brand so you can attract dream clients with ease. Each month, we'll bring you real, raw conversations and industry guest experts to help you create your most magnetic self. Thank you for listening today. Now let's get this party started. Does your audience hear you? Is your brand compelling? And are you communicating everything that your audience needs to hear as you are sharing your brand? every single day? That is the question for today. I want to dive into this topic with you and give you a couple of tips on how to really take a step back, look at your communication, look at your messaging, and make sure that your audience knows who you are, what you do, how you can help them. And this is ultimately going to set your brand apart, especially in the noisy online space. Okay, so with everything that you are doing in your business, whether you are writing blog posts, you're recording podcast episodes, you are guest speaking, you're posting on social media, on whatever platform it is, everything that you say and do in your business is a form of communication. You are telling your audience at the end of the day, hopefully, if you're doing this right, who you are, what you do, how you can help them, and what the transformation is that your business provides. Because without your audience understanding and truly hearing what these things are on a regular, consistent, and repetitive basis, they're going to feel lost. And when you have an audience that feels lost, you either don't have an audience at all, you're hearing crickets, you're not getting engagement, or you are getting people coming to you that are not your dream clients and your dream person to work with. Okay, so first and foremost, you need to understand that your communication is at the core of building your brand identity. This is truly what is going to help you differentiate yourself in your market, in your industry, and call the people in that you adore working with your dream clients, the high vibe people that are happy and eager to pay you, right? That is the ultimate goal. We want to be working with people that love to work with us. So the first thing that I want you to be looking at here is, do you know your audience? And in addition to that, do you know what they need to hear? What is it that they are struggling with? Or what is it that they are hoping to achieve or experience And how can you communicate that in a way that your audience has that light bulb moment, right? You want them to be reading your content or listening to your podcast and thinking to themselves, hey, I totally feel that, or I have felt that way, or I need help with this, right? Because when you present to your audience, not only a problem, but a solution to a problem, And you do that again and again and again and again, whether you feel like a broken record or not, that repetition is going to help your audience build the subconscious programming and understanding that you are the go-to. You are the expert in your industry. That is what we want to achieve. So before you just start throwing content out into the online space or you have a million ideas and you're not going in any linear fashion with your strategy for content marketing, for any sort of marketing, really ask yourself who is your audience and what do they need to hear. As you are doing this, we also want to be mindful of whether or not your message is compelling And this is where emotion comes into play. This is where we want to be paying attention to the psychology of marketing and really knowing what pain points, what triggers are going to get your audience to pay attention that is going to help them stop their scroll, read the content that you're sharing, or press play on an episode. Because if you're not getting their attention, you can't deliver your message. 
right? And this is where your visual identity also comes into play with your brand. But we really want to be focusing on the core of your messaging so that there is cohesiveness and that compelling factor of I cannot live without this person in my life, right? I cannot live without having this business support me in whatever way, shape, or form. Okay, so make sure that your messaging is compelling. And in order to do that, know your audience. Okay, I feel like I'm repeating myself here. And there is a reason for that, right? This is a perfect example. You as a business owner need to know how to cultivate a magnetic brand. And the reason that you want that is because you want to be working with your dream clients. You want to be making an impact in the world. And in order to do that, you have to understand these fundamental pieces of establishing your brand, right? So tying it all together for you and helping you understand how exactly you can do this. Okay, and then my next tip for you when it comes to understanding whether or not your audience can hear you and how to get them to hear you is that you want your message to be simple. And we get this so confused as entrepreneurs, as visionaries, because we have a million and one different ideas. We have a lot of things that we want to share with the world. Maybe we have different modalities or solutions to solving somebody's problem. I know that I struggled with this in the beginning of my business, and I still find myself slipping into the trap of wanting to share all of the things. But quite honestly, if you are sharing everything and there is no rhyme or reason, there is no strategy, you're more than likely confusing your audience. And if you are feeling confused in your business, then there's a really good chance that your audience is confused too. And a confused audience is not an audience that purchases or invests in a program or a service or an offer. So we want to be making sure that your message is very straightforward, very simple, and extremely easy to understand, right? We want to be speaking to your audience in a way that they can conceptualize the idea of creating the transformation that you provide. So when I say that it is important to keep it simple, what I mean by that is that when you are creating content, you should be sharing around the topics that directly lead to the solution that you provide in your business. We want your brand to stand out to somebody and come to mind for somebody when they are thinking about a problem that they have, okay? And if you are overcomplicating it, you're adding too many different branches to the tree, then things will be confusing for you and for your audience. So dial it in. What are your core topics? What are the things that you are talking about again and again and again and again? I do this with all of our social media management clients at the studio, and this is something that we have to return back to and really audit ourselves on because it can be really easy to throw a million ideas out there, especially when we have hits of inspiration. So I want to invite you to give yourself permission today to keep it super simple. Pick three or four core topics that you are going to talk about again and again and again in your messaging and run with them. And something that's really important to note here is that even though you are sharing the same topics, it does not mean that you are sharing them in the exact same way that you have previously. So this episode, for example, when I'm talking about messaging and cultivating communication in your brand, I have probably given this speech a million times. <laughs> there is more than likely another episode on this podcast on the same exact topic. However, the way that I'm presenting the information is more than likely different. And the way that you are consuming the information is also going to land differently with you depending on what stage you are in in your business, what you are experiencing right now in your business, and honestly, how you are feeling on any given day at any given moment, right? So we want to be keeping in mind that we are not 
marketing to robots. We are marketing to humans. And what that allows for is the flexibility for us to continuously talk about the same topics and know wholeheartedly that at the end of the day, you are being of service to your audience because you are being consistent. I know that I personally have to hear the same thing over and over for me to really let that information sink in and to be able to integrate that into my day to day. So even if you are listening to this episode and you are thinking, yes, I want my audience to hear me. Yes, I want my communication to be crystal clear. Yes, I want to enhance my messaging in my brand so that people really know who I am and what I do. You could listen to this episode and take zero action on it. You could listen to this episode again in six months and have a light bulb moment, an idea that you could integrate into your daily strategy, and it could change everything in your business. So I just want you to recognize that even though your messaging has to be simple, it doesn't have to be boring, and it doesn't have to be not impactful, right? We get to create impact by creating the ripple effect for our audience. And that is what you have the opportunity to do through your messaging and through the communication that you're doing in your business. Okay, so I encourage you to sit with this. Maybe listen to this episode more than once. Let me know what questions might come up for you or thoughts that you might have. We had this conversation inside of the Magnetic Boss Collective recently. I would love for that conversation to be continued in the group. If you want the link, the link will be in the show notes. You can find us on Facebook, the Magnetic Boss Collective. And you can also screenshot this episode and tag me on Instagram at calandra.martin if it supported you in any way. And feel free to share with a friend who might need to hear this too. Thank you so much for listening today and we'll talk to you very, very soon. If you enjoyed this episode, subscribe wherever you are listening so you don't miss a thing. Your iTunes reviews help the show impact more magnetic bosses just like you. If you leave a review or listen to this episode, share the episode on Instagram and tag at calandra.martin on Instagram so I can thank you personally. If you're craving community and connection with like-minded entrepreneurs, join us inside the Magnetic Boss Collective on Facebook, where you can build relationships and share your business too. Until next time, Magnetic Boss.